the previous uh, video we set up deployment profile and enrollment status page so now we are nearly ready to start our autopilot which we're going to do in this um, video just to have some apps deploying let's quickly set up our two uh, apps that we imported from the um, windows uh, store for business uh, we have all apps let's make company portal that's a good app let's add that to all machines so I'm just go quickly edit here and go down here to assignment and let's have that required for all devices that and for the other app power bi desktop let's not force that since probably not everyone will want that properties we can put that to um, available instead we can add it to all users we're nice and then after we have a uh, autopilot we can go into portal uh, company portal and install it there if you want okay good with that out of the way where we left off with our hyper-v uh, machine we haven't reset this one yet and i had this very insecure password so here is the machine that we uh, imported the hardware id and now we have to reset this machine in order because um, autopilot only works on uh, out of box experience machines if they have been set up uh, autopilot will not work we'll speak about that uh, while we reach that part also so i just reset this pc perfect click a reset uh remove everything normally if this was a machine that had been used uh, it should have synced to OneDrive or like. Normally, shouldn't have any uh, unique uh, things that you need to keep on machines. Uh, let's keep what's already in, uh, the bits already on. So now we are setting. It's gonna do a sysprep, remove everything unique with this uh, machine, and it's gonna reboot. And I'm gonna fast forward this part for you. So this looks good the hardware id it found me okay so i'll put the uh, in yeah i said i would do that i would definitely not do it now it will be a later video i said it like five times now so we have kicked in uh, to autopilot normally it could be a little different experience like it, uh, ask for uh, a keyboard i think i remember in the previous video i put same as the os and i have put the us so it's normally it gives me uh, no keyboard so that's maybe something you could change on the um, esp or deployment profile to have uh, set up uh, it since it doesn't know who i am it must be on the dp the deployment profile but it's running so it's going to join to the azure ad it's going to look if there are any applications i think that's in the device setup yes apps waiting so it have completed the um, setting up uh, hardware joining um, network perfect preparing your device for mdm excellent It's going to take a little time we gave it 240 minutes to finish this it should take go very quick actually let's go over to azure ad and see if we see our device there already keep an eye on this one it's still on preparing for MDM.
I don't think it's going to be there yet. It is there. And remember in our deployment profile, we put GBN dash and then percent uh, serial percent. So, and it cut it because of the length. Normally it's a lot longer. So that part, it's uh, joining your organization network. It actually done that. Now it's preparing the device for MDM and that's um, the MDM that's in tune. So if we go here, I don't dare to say anything but normally it should not be up here until it has prepared it. No, it's not showing up here yet. I think that's what it's working on right now. Oh, actually that have completed. Oh, seems I somehow got French now. Keyboard. Okay, wonderful. Now it conti continue. So device set up, it went. There was no apps needed to set up. I would have thought it would have been company portal. Well, we'll see that. Maybe it's too new company portal. We're gonna get it anyway. It's no hurry to get it there anyway. So we are soon finished, I think. Uh, I have not, oh, I forgot to uh, not require Windows Hello, but, well, that's fine. Let's do this now. We have to do it sooner or later, why not now? Authentication app on our mobile, we go next. And here we have to scan the QR codes on my mobile. I click on the plus sign. I do a worker school account. I scan the QR code and select here, scan it. Now it show up on my mobile and we go next. I'm gonna try it out. And it asked me to approve, I approve. Perfect. Notification have been approved. We are set up. Uh, for phone, I wish I had said that I didn't do that, but okay, I'll put my phone here. And here I got the notification. Now oh, it has switched to a US keyboard. I'll put in the number 39 and go next. Perfect SMS. Normally I would recommend to maybe not use all these, but now we have a few uh, uh, MFA. Perfect. Perfect. Now it approve. I will approve on my phone. You are able to set up your pin. I'm fine to so this error. That's fine. We skip for now the pin, so that's not a problem for autopilot. We can still verify that we are uh, up in uh, Intune. Let's we can look that in settings, but let me first check that uh, our account shows up here now. Got plenty of time, so our machine is in uh, Intune now. And it's compliant, uh, which we haven't set up any compliance, so it's just the default one. We could set up compliance like it must have a, a BitLocker, and we're going to do that in um, videos following this. So that looks good. We are managing, we are in Azure AD, as we have seen before. We are managed in Intune, so it's looking pretty good. Autopilot worked perfect. Now, Let's just see here uh, if we go accounts and access work or school. I'm maximize this one. We are connected uh, to Azure AD. 
if we take info here on um, Brint's cloud, we get to see all the applications and the policies. We haven't created so many. We can go to company portal by the web browser, but I like the app. So we can see that in the next video. So great, autopilot worked perfect. We have now set up our first uh, machine. Next video, we're gonna explore more policies and maybe some more applications. See you there, thank you very much.